Purple Pinkerton here, and I will show you how to install Fallout 4 Script Extender. Now, you're going to navigate to f4sc.serverlock.org. I will put this link in the description as usual. 1.7.15 is the current version. Due to a recent update, this will have to be redone. It takes, takes one to two days. Um, if you're watching this video after that, then you're fine. If it if you launch this and it doesn't work immediately, then launch the game as as usual through the normal executable instead of the F4C loader and wait a couple days and then update again. Anyway, now you're going to click this, 7 of Archive. I've already done that. And once you download that, you're going to go over to your downloads and you'll see this. Now, let me scan it in case anybody's afraid of a virus being hidden in there. Nothing found. And let this chug away. Eventually. Nothing found. Okay. I'm using 7-zip, and I'll extract here. Now, this is what's in the file. These two are for programmers. You shouldn't care about that. Now, copy these files. And then you're going to head on over to where Fallout 4 is installed. So my Steam library is under the E drive. Steam, Steam apps common. And now Fallout 4. Then you're going to paste this. I've already done this. Now, if you're updating, you just click replace files and destination. Now you're going to have this F4C loader. Delicious. Now, to make this more accessible, because you're going to have to open the game through this from now on, send to desktop. There we go. And now let's make this look spiffy. First, let's change the icon. Browse. E. Steam. Steam. Games. And now you're going to find the cover art for Fallout 4. So, here it is. Okay. Okay. And then rename this to whatever you want. So, Fallout 4. And then you're going to run the game through this from now on. That's pretty much it for now. Um, in the future, if you want to update the script extender, all you have to do is download it, extract those files, paste them into your directory, and make sure that you're launching the the F4SE loader XE from now on, and then you're good. And that's pretty much it. Hope you have a good day, and in the comment section, please let me know if you want me to make any extra things, or say work on Skyrim mods, or Fallout 3, anything. I'm up for suggestions. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a good day.